Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. How are you? How is your weekend going? Good evening, teacher. Good night. Hello. 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 So I'm so Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm happy you're back. So, hey, Danny. I see like. Uh, hey Moses, I see you now. Oh, que, que dark me veo. Yeah. <laughs> I look super dark. Okay, I don't know what's going on. All right, I, I'm gonna. Good morning, teacher. Hello, Pedrina. Good evening. How are you? How's everything going? Everything good? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. So, thanks hey. a lot for joining. You know, it's really nice to see you, especially because. Ya tenemos, you know, una, una semanita completa to be here, and that's really nice. So, how are you? How do you feel? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? ¿La pasaron bien? Más o menos? Kind of? A little? <laughs> so, what did you do? Good to chair. Do you stay I, at home? With family. Okay, so you stay with your family. That's super, super fine. All right, so hi, let me see. I see I'm missing Renee there. Hi, Guadalupe. I'm super happy to see you back. Hi, Idania. Well, I'm here. I'm here. Right. Hi, Ignacio. Oh, there you go. Are you driving? Are you going home? Yes, right yes. Ahorita oh. voy conduciendo. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks a lot. Gracias por conectarse temprano. Thanks a lot for that. All right, guys. So let me go over attendance. Vamos a revisar asistencia super quick antes de dar inicio a nuestra sesión número. What's going on? Okay. Hold on. I don't because I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, give me one second. Let me just check this out. All right, so let me check it out. Yeah, I look super dark. I have no idea what's going on. Let me just check it out. Okay, guys, so les agradezco enormemente, you know, por ayudarme con la plataforma. So thanks a lot for completarla. I saw it on the weekend. And there are really good scores. So I'm, I'm you know, happy you got the topic. And uh, vamos ahora a um, terminar parte de, de la unidad, you know. So vamos a hacer un repaso general de todos los temas that are over there in the platform. Algunos temas sé que pueden ser un poquito confusos, como la parte de passive voice, eh, gerunds, infinitives. Entonces vamos a revisarlos ahora. So you can feel more comfortable with them y podamos usarlos también a little bit better. So eh, just give me some verbal confirmation, please. Ana Delmi, no la veo todavía por acá. I don't see her yet. Eh, Brenda, I don't see Brenda either. Eh, Brian. Um, no, I don't think Brian's right there. Eh, Jasmine, tell you Jasmine. Present teacher. Thank you, Celia. Uh, Danny. Well, I heard Danny. Ready, teacher. Awesome. Ready. I'm super happy you're back. Uh, Danny's Adalberto. Danny, Danny. I don't see Danny's. Um, yo, Daisy. Chicas. Present. There you go. Awesome. Thank you very much. Giovanni. Giovanni, Giovanni. No, I don't think I see him. And uh, Natalie Mahano, Natalie is right there. Present. Hello, Natalie. How are you doing? Hello. I'm I'm fine. <laughs> and I am drink coffee. What? Right now? <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. Can you sleep? Excuse me. Can you sleep? I mean, can yes. you sleep when you drink coffee? Um, yes, yes, oh, and the coffee, is, uh -huh. my God, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's new for me, because I don't think I could drink, so, I mean, I did it yesterday, 
Again, to be honest with you, I was totally, I regret it. Porque no pude dormir. I couldn't sleep because of that. So, <laughs> okay, that's totally crazy. Nice for you. That's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Ingrid, Ingrid. Oh, yeah, I see Ingrid there. I believe present, Ingrid. Present, present. Okay. Are you home? Are you home already? Oh, it's I see, teacher. I see, yes. teacher. Yes, awesome, awesome. I'm happy you're home and you're safe. All right, uh, Jackie, 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 where are you? Present, teacher. Yes, there you go. Hi, Jackie. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to see you. Hi, Jocelyn. How are you? I'm Present. Doing great. I don't know why today's Monday, but I feel great. So. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, Norberto, Norbert? Hello, present teacher. Awesome, Norbert. I saw you super early. Thank you so much. Claribel? Claribel, Claribel. Hello, Miss. Hello, I'm Miss. Here. How are you? Very good, and you? I'm doing nice. What about your internet? Is it better? Uh, yes. Okay. It's better. Nice. Nice to hear that. Uh, Moses, yeah, I think I saw Moses. Present. Yes, Moses, you're back. Okay. <laughs> yes. Did, did they fix it? Did Claro fix it? No. <laughs> okay, but but thank you. I mean, to I'm, my phone. Oh, from your phone. Wow. Okay, but thank you. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, Pedrina, I heard Pedrina super early too. Pedrina, where are you? I think I, I see her, but maybe she got frozen. No me ve, teacher. Ahora sí. No, no lo escuchaba, mis. Ahora sí. Ah, ok. Pero que no me ve. Y René estaba ahí. So René was there. He was driving. Eh, Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. Good evening. Present teacher, good nice. evening. To see you, hello, hello. Sandra Rodas, Sandra, Sandra Elizabeth. Yeah, Sandra, you're good there. Evening. Hello, Sandra, how Present are you? Present teacher. Elizabeth, hello, nice to see you girls. Um, Anna Yancy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. Thanks a lot for joining. Angel Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, Angel. Carlos Bautista. Uh, I don't see Carlos. No, I don't see Carlos. Uh, Present. Hey, Carlos. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. Right on time. No la había visto, so I just called your name. Thank you. Uh, Guadalupe. I saw Guadalupe super early too. Thank you. Super happy to see you, Guadalupe. Thanks for joining. Ignacio, I saw Ignacio too. Thanks I'm, a I'm, lot, here. Ignacio. I'm awesome. here. I'm here, teacher. Good to see you. And I'm Mrs. Marvin, but I believe Marvin dijo hace unos momentos que iba way home. Eh, Brian, ya lo veo por acá. So thanks, Brian, for being here. And quien me hacía falta? Who else was missing? Ana, hello, Delmi. Okay, I think she's getting there. And I was missing, I'm missing Giovanni. Is Giovanni back? No, he's not. All right. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for joining. It's really nice to see you. We are having today session number five. Okay, so vamos a revisar un par de temas. We are going to check just a couple of topics that are missing. Okay, so let me go ahead and share this for you. Okay, logran ver mi pantalla. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, yes okay. teacher. Okay, thanks for the confirmation. So we are going to review today some vocabulary. We are going to review gerunds and infinitives and also passive voice. Un tema que creo que le gustó. <laughs> a topic that I think was como a pain in the head. Okay, que les causa un poco de dolor de cabeza. But it's fine. We are going to review this topic, you know. Little by little. And uh, to get started today, vamos a hacer like some exercises. We have a speaking as well. Así que let's get started. First, okay. Vamos un poquito con los gerunds. We are going to start working with gerunds a little bit. 
eh, gerund. Alguien que me ayude que es un gerund. What is a gerund? In a very easy way. ¿Cómo sé que es un gerundio? What is a gerund? Cuando le, cuando le agregamos ING. Yeah, yes, excellent, exactly. So a gerund is just un verbo, okay, con ING. That's it. Okay, no nos vamos a complicar mucho. We are not going to complicate a lot, okay. A gerund is a verb with ING. Now, if I have some verbs with ING, for example, and I have take, all right? So, ¿Qué le pongo o qué le quito? What do I do? Le quita la E y le pone I. Excellent. I don't, I don't need, I'm sorry, I don't need E. Okay, I don't, I don't really need it. So I'm going to eliminate it. And this taking. becomes taking. Exactly. Y eso es todo. Okay? So that's a gerund. Now, I come with the next one. Okay? And I have, for example, get. Pero get es bien especial. Who can tell me? ¿Quién me ayuda porque es especial? Porque le agrega otra T y le pone en. Perfect. Exactly, exactly. So getting, okay. Get es bien especial porque es un verbo cortito. It's a very short verb. And it has consonant, vowel, consonant. So let, como tiene solo tres y tiene consonante, vocal, consonante, Voy a duplicarle la última letra. Ok. So that becomes get. Y luego le agrego. Getting. getting. Exactly. Getting. Yeah. And that's it. Like super easy. Now, tengo por ejemplo this verb that is lie. What lie. is the meaning no. of lie? What's the meaning of lie? Problema. Problem. Problem. Mentira. Una mentira. mentira. Ah, ok. Y la acción es mentir. Right? So this is about lying. Exactly. So, lying sí tiene un pequeño cambio, ok. Voy a quitarle la I y la E. I don't need it, ok. Y voy a agregarle una Y. I'm going to add a Y, all right. So, because I add a Y, luego le agrego a ING. Y es lying, es lo mismo, no he cambiado el significado, pero sí cambié cómo se escribe. Are we okay so far? Are we good? No sé Uh, esos, esos, esos cambios o sea, ¿cómo, o sea, cómo saber en qué momento se tiene que cambiar o sea, uno que o sea, bien, bien complicado ok, That, that's nice, that's nice entonces veamos un par de, un par de generalidades, ok en general, uh, gerunds no cambia mucho, pero si las necesita o si le funciona mejor tenerla como regla, that's totally fine veamos cómo puedo entonces saber si le voy a quitar o le voy a poner Okay. If a verb finishes in E, delete it. Okay. So that is kind of rule number one. Cuando un verbo va a terminar en E, okay, no la necesito. Entonces, siempre se la quito. I delete it. Okay. For example, take, dance. Can you give me more? Can you help me with more? Take, dance, make. delete, make, make, ride. Anything else? Erase, etc. Siempre que tengamos un verbo con I, no lo necesito, I don't need it, entonces te la voy a quitar. I'm going to erase it. Are we okay? Is that fine? Rule number two. Okay, rule number two. Um, so... If a verb is short and has consonant, uy, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, okay, add, no, we are going to say double the last letter, okay, how so, como así, right, how so, oh, super easy. If a verb is short and has consonant, vowel, consonant, vamos a duplicar la última letra, ¿ok? For example, get. ¿Qué pasa con get? Tiene consonant, vowel, consonant, le duplico. I have put, again, consonant, vowel, consonant, y es un verbo bien cortito. It's a very short verb. I have cut, ¿ok? C-U-T, consonant, vowel, consonant. 
Pueden pensar sí. en otra. Give. 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 Ok, tiene que tener consonante, vocal, consonante en ese orden, ok. ¿Qué sucede con it? Ah, con it. Ah, it sí tiene dos, dos, eh, dos vocales. Ah, dos, pero son dos vocales y tiene que ser consonante, vocal, consonante. Es decir, ya no entra en la regla, ok. So no le puedo duplicar la P. Hay que no dudar porque tiene que tener obligatoriamente una consonante una vocal y una consonante. All right. Dani, ¿cuál era el verbo? What is the verb? Run. Yeah. Run. Run. Exactly. That's good. Run. That's a good verb. Well, run. Run. Teacher. Run. Uh -huh. run. Run. Como una o -A. Yes. Running. Any other? This one. When you go to the beach. What is this? Swim. 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 Exactly. Swim. Sí tiene una antes, you know? tiene una consonante antes, pero no le afecta. It's consonant, vowel, and consonant. So, et cetera, et cetera. Ok, a ellos sí se les duplica. So, we are going to double the last letter. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Are we okay so far? Yes. Yes? Good. Ok, now, esta pequeña regla es una excepción. This is an exception. Solamente hay dos palabras. There are only two words. ¿Qué pasa esto? Ok, so, if... A verb is short. Ok, vamos, como solo son dos palabras, de una sola vez les puedo decir cuáles son. If you have lie or die, ok, que es como morir o también puede ser, ya. Yeah. Eh, so, if you have lie or die, cualquiera de esas dos palabras, change the IE for Y. Y eso es todo. That's it, guys. So there are only three rules that apply. Si ustedes tienen lie or die, por ejemplo, tengo lie, se las quito y le agrego y. Ok. Now, si tengo el otro verbo que es die, ¿qué voy a hacer? Exactly the same. Le voy a quitar la IE, I put Y, and then ING. Y eso es todo. No hay más verbos. You know, por el momento, si en, me entero de otro, I will let you know, but these are like very specific. So you have lie and you have die. ¿Estamos bien? O sea, ¿Are we okay? Fisher, o sea que un verbo si termina, si son de tres palabras, de tres letras, si terminan en dos vocales, se le elimina y pues, se pone la Y. No, 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 solamente esos dos, solamente ¿Eh? esos dos verbos, lie or die. No hay, no hay más verbos por el momento. No that I am aware of. No que yo sepa. Uh -huh. Solamente like and die. Hacemos este pequeño cambio. Uh -huh. Le cambiamos la like, IE por Y. Yes. Ok. And then, ¿qué sucede con el resto? Si algún verbo no entra en la categoría, super easy. Solo le van a agregar ING y eso es todo. That's it. No le voy a quitar nada más. All right. For example, if I have pray. Ok, if I have the, the verb pray, ¿le puedo quitar la Y? ¿Que nadie elimina igual? No. De hecho, en las no, reglas no hay nada que diga de Y, entonces no le tengo que quitar nada. It's not necessary. Solo le van a agregar right. ING. And that's it. Ok. So, if I have play, ¿le puedo quitar que nadie elimina igual? No, I don't need it. No hay ninguna regla que me diga que le voy a quitar Y. All right. Solo le agrego ING. So, Praying, playing, swimming, dying, eating, writing. Are we okay with that? Is that fine? Questions? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, what, what about the number two? What about number two? If a verb is short, this one. Yes. Yeah, uh, ¿cuál es, van a ser los cambios para get, put, cut, run, swing? Oh, all right. Oh. Okay, sure. It says double the last letter. Dice que le vamos a duplicar. Solo vamos a double the last letter. I have get. La última letra fue T. Getting. La doble doble T. T. Lo demás no cambia. Getting. Put. Oh, fue una T también. Putting. Okay. Oh, run. N. Le duplicó la N. So this running, is, okay. running, exactly. So pretty much yeah. solamente agregarle, you know, 
eh, add the last letter. Le agregamos una letra adicional, la, the last letter, and then ing. Is that fine with you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. Any other question? Sí, pues, I have a question. Luego de agregarle eso, o sea, el significado sigue siendo el mismo. ¿Y en qué momento se va a utilizar el, el verbo de esa manera? Very nice. O solo cuando se utilice, solo cuando se utilice solito él. Uh, very good question. Very, very nice. Ok. So, lo que hemos estado viendo es el uso de gerunds. So, that means, vamos a ver actividades. Ok. So, ahorita vamos a ese ejercicio. But antes eh, de comenzar el ejercicio y explicarle un poquito más lo que Dani, la consulta de Dani, um, is, this, is this okay? Is this fine? La parte de las reglas, are we okay with them? Yes, it's fine. Okay, yes. thank you for yes, the confirmation. Yes. All right, awesome, awesome. Entonces veamos cómo los utilizo, all right? Let's take a look how we use them. Como son actividades, because they are activities, Ya no es un verbo, all right, sino una actividad. Por ejemplo, I have cook, and it says here que voy a usar gerund. Si no es cocinar, ¿cuál sería la, la well, actually, it's kind of. Veamos eh, cook, all right, that is number one. ¿Qué le voy a agregar o qué le voy a poner a cook? Cooking is a one of, of her hobbies. Cooking, exactly. Ya no es en sí como yo estoy cocinando, él está cocinando, sino que hablamos de cocinar, all right? Estamos hablando de la actividad en general. So cooking is one of her hobbies, okay? Or cooking is what I love. Or cooking is what I hate the most, okay? So hablamos de cocinar, de la actividad de cocinar, all right? I have cycle. The second one says cycle, all right? The, like to ride a bicycle, andar en bicicleta. So cycle. ¿Qué sucede cuando llevan E? What do I do when they finish in E? Delete the E. In art. Okay. Yeah, so this word se pronuncia cycle. Okay. Cycle. Entonces ahora le voy a agregar un in. Cycling, Cy all right? Cycling Andar is bicicleta. fun. Cycling is fun. Do you agree? ¿Están de acuerdo? Cycling is fun. Andar en bicicleta es... Yeah, yeah, teacher. Yeah? yeah. All right. So, in my case, I don't agree because I cannot ride a bicycle. <laughs> so, not for me, not really. Okay. What about number three? Get. ¿Qué le vamos a poner o qué le vamos a quitar? Otra T sería Double T Double T I-N-G Excelente Getting Getting a job is not easy ¿Están de acuerdo? Do, do you agree? Getting a job is not easy Getting Getting a job, conseguir empleo, ya, yeah, tener un empleo. Getting a job is not easy. Do you agree? ¿Están de acuerdo? Yes. Yeah, right. Getting a job is really hard. O hay alguien que diga, no, getting a job es bien fácil. It's super easy. No, right? <laughs> well, not now. Okay. It's hard, people. It's really hard. What about fine? Let's take a look at fine. It's a fine. ¿Qué le ponemos? What do I add? Fine. Fine. D. D. Another, D. another D. Oh, ¿puedo agregarle una de más? Can I add another D? Yeah. No. No. Maybe not. Maybe not. Porque era consonante, vocal no. consonante. Y acá hay dos consonantes después. Ya no indica. So, solamente ing. Finding. Finding a parking space is quite difficult in this area. I have to say, finding a parking space is quite difficult in San Salvador and it's quite difficult in Merliot. What do you think? Finding a parking space? Encontrar parqueo es fácil. Finding a parking space? No. No, San Salvador is difficult. In San Salvador. Otro lugar donde sea difícil. Any other place where it's difficult? Cayapango. 
Isoyapango, okay. In Metro Centro, finding a parking yeah. space is difficult in Metro Centro, all right? So, what about the next one? It says driving. So, drive. Mm -hmm. Right, termina con él. Yo le quito. What do I eliminate? Le grita la Mariana que me lo. Delete y. Yes, excellent. So driving becomes more and more expensive. Do you agree? Están de acuerdo. Driving, la like manejar, driving becomes more and more expensive. Es más caro. Yes. 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 Teacher. Maybe, right? Because of gasoline. And the last yes. one says no, and I have a smoke. ¿Qué le agrego? What do I put? Delete mm. e. Delete e. Perfect. No smoking in this area. Okay, so no fumar. No smoking in this area. Or smoking in the area is not permitted. Okay. So, pretty much, eso es el gerund, okay? Hablar de una actividad, we are going to talk about these activities. Y solamente, por lo general, here, utilizamos el verbo be that we have. So, finding a parking space is, cycling is, cooking is, you know, para hablar de esto, to talk about this. Hey, Danis, good evening. Hey, Brian, thanks a lot. So, Brenda, hi, Brenda. Ya la vi también por ahí. So, hi, nice teacher. to see you. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Thanks for joining. Super cool to have you guys. Thank you. So, what I want you to do, what I want you to do now is to write three examples. Escribamos tres ejemplos using ING para actividades. Solo vamos a seguir estos ejemplos. Cooking is one of her hobbies. Cycling is fun. Getting a good job is not easy. Okay. So, Vamos a hablar de cosas que sean reales para ustedes, right? Let me erase. Let me erase this. For example, drinking coffee. I'm sorry, Natalie. Drinking coffee at night is a bad idea. <laughs> okay. I don't know you guys, yeah. but if I drink coffee, <laughs> ya no duermo. No, so drinking no. coffee at night is a really bad idea. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So it's yeah. like a no, no. All right. So let me see. Let me think about more examples. Um, washing. Okay. Washing clothes on a um, sunny day is exciting. Okay. So now, guys, llegamos a una edad donde es genial lavar en un día soleado, right? So washing clothes on a sunny day is exciting, okay? So this is pretty much the idea with Jaron. Quiero que expresen tres ideas, all right? Three activities que para ustedes son like good idea, bad idea, algo que odian, something you like, etc. Utilizando I, this one. Washing I, clothes, I, drinking coffee. Yes, tell me, Ricardo. I would like to drink coffee. Oh, okay. Now that we are talking about drinking coffee. All right. <laughs> well, that's a bad idea. Definitely. I don't recommend that. Okay. But it's book. fine. So, Reading a book is a, a very... Is a, Reading a book is, no, is yeah. good. Reading a book is, is good. good. Okay. <laughs> okay, creo que quería decir algo más. I think you wanted to say something else. Pero yeah. se quedó vitalidad. Okay. Yeah, reading a book is good, is interesting, o si no les gusta, is boring, you know. So we can have a lot of ideas here. Is okay. necessary if I want to learn. You want to learn? Yeah, reading a book is necessary if I want to oh, learn. Got um, it. Yes, yes, of course, that sounds fine. So reading a book is good, interesting, boring. I mean, podemos tener diferentes ideas or opinions, right, about a topic, and that's totally good. If the writing reaper is very rich. Can you repeat that? Writing? Está leyendo. Writing reaper is very rich. 
Es very okay, escribir reporte es muy cansado, ajá. Ok, tiring. Rest oh, ¿cómo rest sería? Rest como tedioso, como, como difícil. Hard, okay. hard. You, you, can say, you can say tiring, you can say hard, you can say difficult, you can say... Um, yeah, we can use all these words, exactly. I would uh, use teacher. tiring, como cansado. Yes, okay. tell me. Teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me, Ignacio. Okay. Playing football at the weekend is a hit Playing soccer or, or football, American football? Or no, soccer. Soccer, soccer, okay. soccer. Playing soccer? Playing soccer at the weekend mm -hmm. is hit mm -hmm. Or It's hectic? Headly is um, like this? Saludable. Oh, healthy. Saludable. Okay, got it. Healthy. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, so playing soccer on the okay. weekend is healthy. A healthy Very activity. Good. Mm -hmm. I, I, playing soccer is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, I'm playing soccer y ando muchos moretes. I have a lot of bruises. So playing soccer is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, sure. Yeah, tell me, Jocelyn. Uh, for example, driving in Sayapango is hard because a lot of traffic. Awesome. So it's, driving in Sayapango is hectic, you said. Hectic. Okay. So let me let me get it. Driving in Sayapango, I like that word. Um, Sayapango is hectic, right? What is hectic? O, o cuál es la palabra que me dijo, sorry? Hard. Hard. Can you spell that for me? Uh, difícil. Oh, hard. okay. Hard. Got it. Hard. Pensé que me decía hard. hectic. Hectic es como hard. ocupado, como, como muy cansado, you know, like hectic. Oh, But hard okay. is good. Hard is totally fine. So driving in Soyapango is hard. Okay. It's dangerous. <laughs> driving okay. in Soyapango is dangerous. A lot of buses. Okay. A lot of taxi, taxi drivers, yeah. So, all right, guys. Tienen las tres ideas? Do you have your three ideas? Are you ready with them? Okay, guys, vamos a utilizar el ING al inicio. We are going to use them at the beginning. So, uh, I see a couple of examples, but please intentamos utilizarlos al inicio. Raining. Okay. So, uh, Danny, Dennis, you know, Adalberto. Eh, that's a very good one. So raining, uh, digamos algo de la lluvia, you know. So raining. Uh, raining. Uh, no. Y de veras que está lloviendo. I heard the rain already. So raining. No. I didn't get it. Sorry. Danis, ¿me escucha? Can you hear me? Es que veo su, micrófono, veo su micrófono encendido, but I cannot hear you. Oh, Moses, Moses has an example. Okay, got it, Danis, don't worry. Danis has an example. Driving in the rain is ugly. Yeah, that's a very good one. So driving no. in the rain. No, yeah. Difficult. Difficult. Okay, driving in the rain is difficult, okay. Dangerous, okay. okay, got it, that, that's a very good example. That's okay. Thank you guys, that's quite fine. So, <laughs> no se preocupe, no worries. Yo creo que en alguna zona ya empezó a llover, you know, and y es comprensible, that's totally fine. I'm going to uh, mute you guys, so that, that's totally fine, don't worry about it. So. Um, ¿Ya tienen las tres ideas? Do you have your three ideas? Speaking mm -hmm. with my teacher. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That, that's good. That's a good beginning. Me falta el resto. So, speaking with my teacher. In the night. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's okay. Me falta el resto. I'm still missing the rest. Normalmente le agregamos el verbo to be, como acá, is. 
So, speaking to my teacher at night es preocupante, you know. <laughs> it's worrisome or, or something, okay. So, vamos a agregarle el is para dar como mi idea. ¿Qué es lo que yo pienso de eso? Right? Eh, ya que that's a good example. Ahora hablemos solamente de, de qué significa cooking a cake, you know. ¿Qué es, what is your opinion about cooking a cake? So, iniciamos con un ing. Comencemos su oración con ing. So, Jasmine, your sentence is good. Talking to the teacher at night is, yeah, yeah so y demos nuestra yeah. opinión. ¿Qué opinamos de eso, right? I'm going to give you... Interesting. Ah, thank you. <laughs> like, there are no extra points, but that was a good example. Okay, so yeah, let me add that. So we have interesting. Okay, interesting. Worrisome, worrisome is preocupante, okay, worrisome, interesting, tiring, sorry, le falta una G there, les voy a enviar un segundito, I'm going to make you just a second, okay, so tiring, right, tiring is como cansado, all right, um, alarming, so we can use the word alarming, como alarmen, alarmante, ok. We have the word concerning. Concerning es como que, que me preocupa mucho, right? That is kind of concerning. So podemos explicar, ok, your opinion. Sandra, that's a very good example. Cooking is not my thing, all right? Sandra, you don't like cooking? ¿No le gusta cocinar? You don't like cooking? Casi no, teacher. Ok, but can you cook? Or not really? No. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's totally good. We have starting at night is good. All right. Really, Natalie? Siente mejor? Do you feel it better? Yes. Um, no estoy precisa por ir a otro lugar y que me agarre la tarde. Hay <laughs> cosas así. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Bueno, lo difícil es llegar, pero... Uh -huh. mm -hmm. what, what about tiring? <laughs> Don't you feel that studying at night is tiring? Not too much. Como cansado, tiring? Sí, sí, sí es, sí es cansado. Pero... But it's better for you. Sí. sí. Ah, okay. Sí. Interesting. Interesting. I think studying in the morning is more difficult. Porque hay que levantarse mucho más early, you know. So that's sí. a little hard. Okay. Brenda, that's quite good. Iniciamos con ING. So guys, la idea es iniciar con ING para que podamos dar nuestras ideas, right? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es nuestra opinión de, de eso? So, allow me one second. Eh, vamos a ir a los grupos para que puedan, you know, give your opinion. And of course, si están de acuerdo, you can say that. Si no están de acuerdo, of course, pueden mencionarlo. Studying English on the weekend. Ok, eh, Ricardo, that's quite fine, pero me le falta algo. So, acá está como la primera parte y luego me falta is. Studying English on the weekend is... Good, bad. So, what's your opinion, right? Me falta su opinión de ese, de ese punto. Is it happy? Really? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'll give you five minutes. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. Go please to the groups. Say your examples. Si están de acuerdo, it's fine. You can discuss them. Y luego venimos y revisamos un par. Okay, we will check a couple of them. So remember, comenzamos con ING, getting up, you know, studying, eating, going, etc. Guys, you have five minutes. Let's go, please. Teacher. Yes, Danny. Yes, Danny. Uh, learning English is a very good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's correct. Learning English is a good uh-huh that's good okay or learning english uh gives gives me a lot of opportunities uh, learning english opens a lot of doors. or learning english uh, will help me or helps me uh, to get a better job so your your example is super good y de hecho se presta a dar como más ideas but it's very mm. nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye -bye.
este grupo? No, hay más. Está Carlos, está Jacqueline y está la ticha. Hi, teacher. Um, Bye, Hi guys. Solo voy pasando, Bye. así que feel free to speak <laughs> and to give your opinion. <laughs> Vaya, mi, mi, mis tres son así. Reading a book is boring. Boring. And the second one, like I had said, driving is a fango is hard because a lot of traffic. Y el otro no, te, no comienza con ing, pero es we, when it is riding, riding, I like to drink coffee. Does it start? In my case, uh, I write three. Eating cake is very nice. Uh, working in house is comfortable. Uh, drinking coffee is very delicious. That is my my three sentences. Very good. Uh, Franco. Eh, aún no he preparado las, las oraciones, pero eh, diría una eh, working in uh, in my in my home is is a uh, Comfortable. Yes. Working in my home is comfortable. And um, swimming, swimming in a pool with uh, hot water is bad idea. Swimming. 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 And it, swimming on the on the pool, uh, swimming on the pool with water, hot water, is a bad idea. Nadar en una piscina. Nadar, nadar en una piscina, piscina con agua caliente, con agua caliente. Es, mala, no, es, es mala idea. idea. Ah. Es mala idea. Okay. Es mejor uh, only... fría. <laughs> um, uh, the, the three, the three. Okay. I like running at the morning. Teacher, teacher, a question. Este, sure, tell me, what's your question? Eh, en estas oraciones, el ING se, utiliz se utilizaría en todos los verbos que aparecen en las reglas, aunque estos vayan en dirección de una, de una oración al final, o solamente se iniciaría al inicio. Eh, but ahorita vamos a utilizarlos al inicio. So right, right now, los vamos a utilizar solamente al inicio. Por ejemplo, raining, eating, cooking, studying, etc. Solamente es como al inicio para dar una opinión. Cuando digo, por ejemplo, eh, getting a job is an adventure. Okay, so, or getting a job is really difficult these days. Okay. Or going to the movies is not, is not recommended, ¿ok? Entonces es como al inicio va a ir el, el ING, porque estamos hablando de esa, ¿qué bien? Uh -huh. mm, 
Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Elias se escribe eh, L I I L I E y lo que hacemos es cambiar la la I latina por la Y y agregar ING y esas son las únicas dos excepciones. Eh, Hi guys, how you doing? Teacher, Hello. Teacher, en el caso de Val que cumple con la regla de consonante vocal consonante, se duplica la última consonante y se le agrega ahí en En el caso de Bay de comprar, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. No, no, porque ya les comento por qué. Let me show you here. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Ven mi pantalla. Can you see my screen? Yes. No. Yes, yes. Ah. yes. Ok, ok. So, estamos hablando de esta, ¿verdad? Bye. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bye. Play. Play. Playing. Try. Todos estos en teoría sí pudiese aplicar, ¿no? You know? Porque es como consonante vocal, consonante. Sin embargo, en in inglés, la Y no tiene sonido de consonante. Tiene un sonido de vocal. Si usted la pronuncia como by, esto suena como la letra I, right? Entonces, como suena como la letra I, ya no se considera una consonante, sino que la Y se considera una vocal. Así que ya no cumple ninguna de estas que termine con Y, cumplen la regla. That's why. Solo, solo se le agregaría el ENG nada más. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So that's okay. like buying, uh -huh. only ING, play, ING, y eso es todo. No le vamos a agregar o quitar nada más. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's ok. Why. You're welcome. Ok, then, teacher. You're welcome. Vaya, pues ya sí. <laughs> Other example. Um, yeah, me quedé una cual idea. How um, come? Come on, come on. Uh, eating, eating much is not healthy. Comer mucho no es saludable. Yes. Uh, other example. Uh, driving, driving in the night is very dangerous. Okay. Vaya, no sé si comprendí lo que medio me explicar. Uh, tengo otra. Es shopping on weekends. Sí, sí. Sí. Um, uh, pero ahí agrégale una opinión suya. Va a comprar, digamos, en el fin de semana. Pero ¿qué es para usted? ¿Es divertido? ¿Es malo? Uh, ¿Es algo que usted piense de esa actividad que usted hizo el, el fin de semana? Puede poner que es fun, es divertido, es caro, no sé cómo se dice caro. Ah, uh, caro. Much. No, eh, buying, no. buying is spending too much, too much. Caro. Expensive. Expensive. Repeat, Ricardo. Do, buy, buying is spending uh, too much. Ah, ok. Comprar es, de, es, es, comprar es gastar demasiado. Ah, ok. Pienso, pienso Garbo, no sé.
la, la suya quedó, ¿no? Sí, este, shopping on the weekend is expensive, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok. Ok, gracias. Niña Natalie, este other example. Uh, eh, no sé si, bueno, sería swimming the night is very difficult. Repeat, swimming in the night. Swimming the night is very difficult. Ah, ok, ok. Eh... Very, very good is swimming. I'm sorry, you said swimming in the night is very difficult, right? Ricardo? Yes. Swimming, like swimming, okay. Ok, that's a very good example. Quizás solamente pongamos, quitémosle in the night y pongámosle at night. Swimming at night is very difficult y estamos súper bien. And we are good. Y swimming is reading. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Uh, swimming is good reading. Relaxing. Swimming uh, is good reading. Oh, tiring, tiring. cansado, tiring. tiring. cansado, yes. Yes, that's yes. good. So swimming is tiring, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, very good. Ángel, hello. I haven't heard you. Hey there. <laughs> no había escuchado a Ángel. I haven't heard Ángel. Did, did you talk to Ángel? ¿Pudiera escuchar a Ángel? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, okay. So, uh, do you have more examples for me? Can I have examples? Teacher, yo hice una. Tell me, tell me, miss. Uh, swimming is very relaxing for me. Awesome. Swimming is relaxing. Okay. okay. I like it. Yes. Very good. I good. like it. Uh -huh. That's a good example. Yeah, for me too. I love swimming. That's a very good exercise. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. I learned to swim in a promotion that they gave in school. That if someone was noticed, they gave the first day gratis. And thanks to God, I learned to swim in the pool. I learned to swim in the pool. I learned to swim in the pool. Very good. <laughs> that was a very good piece. Where, where did you learn in Santa Ana? Yes, uh, is uh, a school El Chaday. <laughs> but it was a good business. <laughs> Imagine. Learn in a month. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm super happy, Anna Yancy, because you got it. So, exactly. That is the idea. Solo expresamos nuestra opinión about the topic. Do you have any other question? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to interrupt. En el, en el, en el chat les escribí la palabra eh, comfortable. I don't remember if it was for you. I think so. So, uh, yes. Check out the pronunciation. No, I think it was not for you. Never mind. Okay, no, it was the word expensive, right? So expensive is como caro. When we are talking about prices, tenemos expensive, que es caro, y tenemos lo opuesto, que es eh, cheap. Right? Smart. So cheap. we have expensive uh, and cheap. Expensive how is How do you say cheap? It's in the chat. I wrote it in the chat, para que por ahí le quede guardado. So expensive means a lot of money. Barato. Cheap. Barato. No, expensive es caro. Expensive means a lot of money. Sí. Es barato. Ok. Yes, that's FYI. Teacher. Ok, guys. Yes, uh, Natalie, tell me, tell me. I, I have an example. Sorry. I want... Uh, si yo digo um, driving at night when it's raining is dangerous, 
que está bien elaborado o hay algo ahí que no? Dice driving too fast. Driving, driving at night when, when it's raining is dangerous. Oh, that was a good example. So driving at night when it's raining, it's dangerous. It is. Solamente it is, right? It is dangerous. It is. Uh, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, no. no. Wait, wait, wait. Driving, driving at night when it's, when it's raining <laughs> is dangerous. I, I. So driving at night when it is. Uh, teacher, teacher, uh, el hecho de agregar it is es por utilizar when. Si no lo utilizara y solo dijera que es peligroso, no necesito usar it is. No, it is. no lo que sucede es que ella estaba dando como más detalles. So, driving a night when it is. When it is raining, it's dangerous. So, el hecho it... es por usar cuando va. Cuando. Yeah. Pero como damos como más detalles, ahí será necesario it is. Uh -huh. But, but the, the example oh. is very good. Solo when it is. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, let's yeah, go back. Yeah. So, regresamos. Let's go back. I'll see you in a bit. Let's go back. Hey, Miss. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> so you're back. Siento que tengo lagging. ¿Me escucha bien? Can you hear me well? Yes. ¿O me escuchan retrasado? No, yo escucho en el tiempo. Ah, ok. Ok, thanks. Yeah, por alguna razón siento que tengo como un poco de lagging, un poco de retrasado el audio, but I don't know what's going on. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, yeah, everybody is, is coming back. So I was I was listening to most of you and that was fun, you know. It was very interesting to listen to your examples, listen to your opinions. So I would like to listen to some. Algunos han estado bien callados today, so I would like to listen to as many as possible. Um, Guadalupe, casi no la he escuchado, Guadalupe. Let me listen to your voice. Okay, so Pedrina says it's really hard to hear. Okay, got it. Guadalupe, are you good? Do you have any example for us? You're mute, you're mute, Guadalupe, you're mute. Okay. There Swimming you on the beach is nice. Okay, that's a good example. Okay, so swimming at the beach is nice. Um, René, do you have eating, another example? Oh, yeah, please continue, continue. Eating a lot of pizza is bad. That's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so eating a lot of pizza is bad. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you. And uh, René, give me some of your examples, please. Forgetting the bus is good for your inner peace. Ah, okay, okay, sounds okay. That sounds totally fine. Uh, Marvin, hey Marvin, nice to see you there. You're mute Marvin, you're mute. Hi. Hi, hey. Yes, did, did, you have, did you have the opportunity to talk to the guys? Uh, ya estaba adentro de la sesión? Did you complete examples? Yes. Sí, sí, sí. Perfect, perfect. Sí. Please. El, el ejemplo que usted son, son dos, dos ejemplos. Okay. Eh, awesome. Working in the rain is complicated. Mm -hmm. eh, reading in low light is difficult, difficult. Oh, yeah, that's difficult. All right. Yeah, very good example. Sounds totally fine with me. Let me see. I have it. Okay. Ana Delmi tiene problemas con el audio. And uh, Giovanni, hey Giovanni, nice to see you there. But I think Giovanni just came in. Hi teacher. Hi Giovanni. Uh, Giovanni, did you have the chance to complete the examples? No. No teacher, no, la verdad okay. que mi internet ha estado muy malo y no he recibido casi nada de la clase. Oh, yeah, creo que hace poco lo voy a entrar, pero no se preocupe, al contrario, gracias por, you know, por siempre unirse a la sesión, a pesar que you are having problems with the internet, so thanks a lot, no worries. 
All right, guys. Uh, we will like continue with this part. Please, si tienen dudas, let me know para que podamos revisarlas together so we can check it out. Yeah. Allow me one second. Uh, let, me, let me share my screen. Hold on, hold on. Let me just share this part. Okay. So, hemos estado revisando un poquito la parte de gerunds como para dar ideas, right? Brenda quiere participar. Really, Brenda? Do you have some example for us? Please, Brenda, <laughs> tell me <laughs> sin miedo, you know. So, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Malia. I mean, Oye, yo voy a decir la, la sure. que le dije a ellos. Sure, please tell us. Okay, tell us, please. <laughs> Eating healthy is the best for the body. Eating healthy, okay. okay. Running, running fast for mm -hmm. calories. Yeah, I agree on that. Okay. Este, ¿qué más puse? Reading a book is good. All right. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, they, they, they are very good examples. Thank you. I don't know why Danny was saying that, but yeah, thank you, Danny. <laughs> I think he was the one, right? <laughs> That's really fine. All right, guys, now let's continue a little bit with this part. Vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios with infinitive, right? And then vamos a ver un poquito de passive voice that I hope is not too complicated. So. Tenemos un par de ejercicios con, passive, con infinitive. Remember that infinitive es bien fácil de identificarlo because a, a verb, yeah, para convertirlo en infinitive, solo le agrego dos letras, okay? And that is to. Cualquier verbo solamente le ponen to antes and that's infinitive. So si tengo it, le pongo to it. Si tengo el verbo be, le pongo to be, okay? Y eso es infinitive. Now, hay un par de cositas que vamos a recordar with infinitive. Por ejemplo, uh, ¿qué pasa si tengo dos verbos juntos? What happens if I have two verbs together? ¿Eso se puede? Can we do that? No, teacher. No, no, no. Por, el momento, por el momento, no. Más adelante van a ver que tal vez se pueda. But not at the moment, right? No podemos tener dos verbos juntos. Los vamos a dividir con un two, all right? So that is oh, like thing number one. Um, so let's get started, all right? Uh, two, me habla de propósito. So number one says, the company's mission is to distribute top quality office supplies. Is there any mistake? Ven algún error? Do you see any mistake in number one? Hay algo que quitarle, algo que ponerle? What do you think, number one? Uh, distributing y, uh, no, no tiene que llevar ING very good, exactly después de un tú, no es muy común que lleven ING so in number one, que vamos a hacer le vamos a quitar this part we are going to eliminate ING the company's mission is to distribute y eso es todo, that's it, alright so, okay. please eliminate this part Les voy a dar un par de minutitos. I'll give you like three minutes yeah, para que encuentren los errores. So you can find the mistake in the rest of them. All right? So you have three minutes. Solo son cuatro errores. There are only four mistakes. Me avisan cuando tengan el segundo. Let me know when you find number two. Number three. Okay, in number three, what is where is the mistake? Four. Four. We exist for two. Ah, very good. We exist four. No lo necesitamos, right? We don't need it. Thank you, Renee. That's very good. Very good job. Five. Five. Okay, what is wrong coming. number five? To be coming. No necesitamos. ING. So después del tú, no va ING. All right. Only to become. Uh, oh. Only to become. Very good. Okay. Number four. Who said Number four? four. Uh, is B. No va, sino que to be. Our goal is B. Ah, very good. Exactly. Hay dos verbos y no pueden ir así juntitos. Yes. Our goal is to be. To be. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So I believe we are done. All right. And number two. Yeah. 
Teacher, I have a question in the sentence uh, number three. Mm -hmm. el, mm -hmm. el, error, el error is tener four. Okay, allow me one second. De, déjeme ver si puedo. Okay, give me one second. Let me see if I can do something here. Okay, so number one, it says distributed, right? So no this one let me change color um, okay so the mistaking number one is this right no distributing the mistaking number three mencionaron que era for porque dice we exist for to provide no tiene mucho sentido que esté for to number four quien me dijo el number four a donde estaba el error the mistake is Yes. To B. Okay, le falta two. Number five. Where is the mistake in number five? Teacher. Teacher. Hello. Be coming. Yes, miss. Be come. Anna, tell me, tell me, Yancy. Sí, es que le quería decir de que acá en el, yo como yo vivo en el Tunco, está lloviendo y quiere que se vaya a la mañana. Oh, my God. Ana, ya está. Excursión, excursión, excursión. Excursión, todos por el Tunco. Es esa falta de confianza, Ana, ya no está ahí. Se en el bikini. Sí. Really? Yo lo puedo decir. Hey. Pero es que lo que le quiero decir de que aquí está relampagueando entonces, y como usted sabrá hace un mes pasó lo de esta niña Catherine entonces me da miedo de estar con la computadora. No worries, Miss. No worries. I totally understand that. Si necesita pagar la cámara or something, I totally understand. Uh -huh. so sí, por eso lo quería mencionar porque es que casualmente hace un mes, entonces está uno así como un poco nervioso. Uh, I understand. No, no worries. And thanks for mentioning that. De hecho, no sabía que vivía hasta allá, you know. Que es esa falta de confianza, Miss. You should have told us. Ya vamos a llegar, ya vamos a llegar por ahí. Ya estábamos haciendo un contacto con un chico que me va a vender artesanías, pero ya no le alcancé a dar el número. Ah, ok. No okay. importa, esperamos, no importa. No, but that, that sounds... Guys, yeah, you know, teníamos pendiente un trip, you know. We have like pending a trip. Algunos yes, compañeros se ofrecieron sí, a, a, a patrocinar a este <ríe> y todavía Eso estamos esperando. Yo que estamos pendientes desde el, las clases pasadas que íbamos a salir a pasear yes. y nada. Pero en Mojo ah, One. Yo les, estamos puedo, esperando. yo les puedo dar algún tour aquí en el Tunco. Yeah. Ah, yeah. No voy a cobrar por el okay. Tunco. <ríe> Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. We should. We should. Why not? All right. Con todo, so, con todo el tabla para surfear, bro. That sounds good. So let's look at no, a, a mi hija le voy a prestar para que les enseñe a surfear. Wow. Y le voy a ayudar a cocinar. Wonderful. No, you know what? Let's talk about this at the end of the class. Oh. But, but, it, but it is a very good idea. We should do it. We should definitely do it. Deberíamos hacerlo, you know? Sounds good. Tal vez así nos conocemos. We, we like say hello there. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. yeah. Yeah, we will. You know, we will. So, um, guys, solamente acá mencionarles en number two. Estaba, eh, hay un error de dedo. Y dice, our mission it, right? So, es, se equivocaron, you know, at the moment that it was printed. But that was, that was not exactly a mistake, but that was it. Eh, do you have any question with this part? Hey, Ingrid, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming back. Cool to have you. Cool, cool, cool. Oops, what is going on? Okay, so. Preguntas con la parte del two? Are, are we okay with this part? Are we fine? Uh, the, en, las, en las oraciones, en estas oraciones se dice que solo hay cuatro errores, pero salieron más. Hay uno más, pero es que es un error de dedo. Creo que es un error de imprenta. Y it's not exactly like a mistake. En, no es como un error a propósito, sino que el momento de, de digitarlo, I believe. 
fue un error de dedo. Así que no worries, es un typo. Uh -huh. But it's fine. Okay. All right, guys. So vamos a hacer this last uh, exercise here. It says ING forms after prepositions. So vamos a utilizar el ING después de preposiciones. Ya vimos que es un yeah, ING, que es un gerundio, right? Y tenemos acá the in charge of, veíamos en las clases anteriores, que vamos a utilizar ING después de of, después de to, después de for, all right? ¿Cómo voy a saber cómo utilizar estos ejemplos? Podemos regresar a su material. You can go to your material. And you can go to, allow me one second. You can go to page. Lo siento, teacher, me sacó. Hey, Brian, I'm glad you're back. No worries. Um, Está lloviendo. Is it raining in your house? No, not yet. Uh, no yet, but is. I no, imagine. I can't. ¿Cómo yeah. se dice viento? There is Aquí wind. Está haciendo viento, it's también. windy. It's okay. windy. Uh, mm -hmm. It is. It is windy. It is windy. Okay. It is windy. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, oh. si se recuerdan, vimos en el ejemplo en la página número 14, page number 14, cómo utilizar esta parte. So, who is responsible for supervising, for example? Yeah. So, who is accountable for managing? So, tenemos la parte de ING. Now, this exercise, solo vamos a escribir un ejemplo por cada uno, right? It's only one example for each. We have five minutes y luego vamos a la parte de speaking. I want you to speak today as much as possible. So, uh, please, let's write on your material, on your uh, piece of paper, on the computer, donde toman notas, you know, and one example for each. Si nos los quieren compartir en el chat, feel welcome, please. Lo pueden hacer like freely, no worries. So, I'll give you five minutes. You have five minutes to complete them. So, be in charge of. No le vamos a poner be in charge of, right? Sino que lo vamos a conjugar un poquito. We are going to conjugate it a little bit. So, ¿cómo puedo reescribir that one? How can I make it? No logran ver mi pantalla. Give me one second. For some reason, están viendo another one. Okay, ahora sí. So, number one says be in charge of. So, vamos a conjugar el verbo be. And I can say, for example, I am in charge of checking exams. Okay? I am in charge of taking pictures. So, de que están a cargo. Or for example, I can say, all right, let me see. I have Ricardo. Hey, Ricardo, what do you do? What do you do in your company? Ricardo, are you around? Yes. Um, what what do you do in your company? Um, instalar. Okay. What do you install? Installing alarm. Oh, for cars? Or for yes. houses? Uh, car. Oh, okay, cool. So Ricardo is in charge of installing car, car alarms. Okay. Yes. And there you go. So después de love, vamos a utilizar ING again. We are going to use ING. So give me one example with in charge of.
if you feel comfortable, uh, you can activate your microphone, you know, and, and help us with that. Oh, thank you, Danny. I am in charge of submitting forms. Excellent. Sounds good. Submit. Um, yeah, tell me, Moses. Puede proyectar en la imagen los, los, los ejemplos. Of course. Of course. Give me just one second. This one? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Saludes a tu amigo Mario. Saludes. Sir Ingrid says, I am in charge of charging, of collecting invoices for services and purchases. That sounds good. Renda says I'm in charge of creating contracts. Okay, very good. Very, very good. I am, I commented, I committed. Teacher, to, I am committed to. I'm committed to? Como to my daily, to my daily tasks or homework. I or my, my daily homework or my daily tasks. You can use both, but homework suena más académico and task suena cualquier act actividad. Any task, uh, any activity. So, si es académico, I would use a homework. Uh, uh, okay. Solo vamos a, a con uh, I responsible the two teams drilling well in water. Drilling well. I am responsible. Uh, Ignacio, can you tell me a little more about that? I, I believe it's, I am uh, responsible of the two teams. Yes, um, soy responsable de dos equipos really? eh, que perforan pozos de agua. Okay. Drilling water, water. Okay, drilling water wells. Okay, solo le cambiamos el orden. Drilling water wells. Got it. Y okay. donde dice IB, solo conjugamos un poquito, I am responsible. Lo demás súper bien. Mm -hmm. Very good vocabulary. So very specific. She is dedicating to calling the customers. Oh, very good. Thank you, Jasmine. That sounds good. Somebody said samples. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. I am in charge sure. of developing samples. Wow. Okay. Yes. Tell me. What's Para the decir, por ejemplo, el cometil. Por decir, yo soy comprometida en el trabajo. No sé si tengo que poner I am committed to working. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, I am committed to working every day. I am committed to working hard every day. Yeah, necesitamos el ING. That sounds good. Eh, Guadalupe, I read your example. I'm in charge of developing samples. You mean like, do you work in, in a laboratory? Guadalupe. Lupita, Lupita. <laughs> el ropa, Lupita. ropa de niño. Ah, you're in charge of developing samples. 
You mean clothes? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, got it. I thought it was a laboratory. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm dedicated to learning English and improve. Ah, very nice. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds very good. I'm in charge of sending the police reports to the insurers. Okay, that's good. I'm dedicated to, okay, a family. That sounds okay. I am committed to to with the hidden. Uh, Brenda, can you tell me a little more about that? I'm committed to with the hidden. I am committed to como que estoy soy comprometida. Estoy comprometida con las contrataciones, pero como oh, eso de la, de la empresa. Got it, got it. Yeah, lo que sucede es que es una T, entonces creo que es un error de dedo, se le fue la T. Got it, that's fine. I'm committed with the hiring process. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. Or with the contracts, the contracting process. Okay, got it, no, no problem. Es cierto, es R. <laughs> yeah, okay, es un error de dedo, no worries. I'm responsible for sending bad reports. I'm committed to my reports, so I'm not to have complaints. I'm in charge of producing everything. Oh, very nice. Yeah, exactly. That's hiring. So the contratación. All right. Very cool. Very cool. That's totally fine. Okay, guys. So I, I think I see very good examples. Okay, I'm going to continue reading. If you have more, feel free to, to put them there in the chat. That would be very nice. In the meantime, vamos un poquito con la parte de speaking for today. All right. And we are going to check these in pairs, okay, or in groups if possible. It says here, prepare a short conversation about any Salvadorian company using the vocabulary study. Today, vimos un poquito de ING, right? I am committed, is in charge of, vimos también como cooking is, developing is, etc. Vimos la parte de two, okay? Y vimos también un poquito de passive voice la semana anterior, right? Como this company is recognized, the company is located, etc. So, vamos a hacer una presentación de un minuto, you know, en grupos, like one minute presentation in groups, para hablar de any Salvadorian company. Si no encuentran compañías salvadoreñas, it's fine. Pueden hablar de cualquiera. You can choose any. Siempre que incluyamos any of these things, ING, to, or passive, all right? So, lo pueden escribir, you can write it down, or siéntanse en la libertad también de poder decirlo, you know, sin leerlo. Practíquenlo as much as possible, y luego solamente you can explain it, right? So, guys, tienen 10 minutitos, you got 10 minutes to prepare a presentation. Es bien cortita, it's super short, it's only one minute. Okay, so, les acabo de enviar las invitaciones to the groups. Please get there and you have 10, only 10 minutes. So please get going. Selectos. Hablemos del super selectos. Ahí me van a disculpar que tengo apagada la, la, la cámara, pero me está fallando el inter, entonces. No problem. Porque hasta por llover. Vale, entonces hablamos del super selectos. Es lo más. Okay. Vaya, que vamos a, vamos a hacer una conversación sobre eso y vamos a describirla o vamos, eso es lo okay. único que no lo entendía la teacher. 
eh, pues vamos a usar el vocabulario y, y básicamente conocer, eh, bueno, aplicar los, en los gerundios, ¿verdad? Las terminaciones ING. Ah, oh, teacher. Tú. Sí, dice la teacher. Ah, pues sí. Ya. <risa> sí. <risa> no, I mean, yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Lo explicó súper bien, de hecho. Yeah, I mean, por ejemplo, si escogen, let me see, let me think. Pollo campero, ok. And vamos a utilizar como todos estos temitas que hemos visto y ponerlos en una presentación. So you can say, for example, ok, pollo campero is located in, y mencionamos como dónde está localizado, you know, in, in 10 departments Perfect. from El Salvador. Perfect. It is recognized Perfect. as one of the best Salvadorian companies. Um, I don't know. Y luego incluimos un poquito de, de you know, ING. For example, el pollo campero is committed to providing the best uh, chicken in El Salvador. They change the menu and et cetera, et cetera. Entonces empezamos a hablar un poquito y ponemos en práctica estos temitas que acabamos de ver. Uh -huh. Eso es todo. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Vaya, entonces, vaya, entonces ponemos el super excelente, es una business company nacional, empezando. Estoy escribiendo primero para intentar deformar la, la oración. Uh. Voy a hacer lo mismo para después agregarlo entonces. Hey guys, how you doing? Hello teacher. Hello miss. Ya está un poco mejor, ya se colmó la lluvia. Ya, ya, ya. Ah, ok, ok. No, 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 no. Un pasón de, de, de nubes fue. Sí, yes, sí, yes, sí. Ah, ok. Quizás por eso es que está, está tan caluroso, right? Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah, because oh, here, here in my house se siente como vapor, you know, pero no ha llovido todavía, so maybe later. Sí, Where do you aquí, live? Aquí sí, ya llovió y está más caluroso que antes que lloviera. <laughs> Where do you live? San Salvador. De San Salvador. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, sí. Yeah, well, hopefully it's over soon. Eh, Pudo hablar con los chicos, creo que a Dani se le fue la luz, I'm not sure. A todos se le fue. Pero yo aquí estoy, lo estoy haciendo para ver cómo lo hacen los demás y si lo tengo bueno. No, excelente. No, no hay ningún problema. It's totally fine. Um, déjenme ver si puedo. No, ya están completos. Ya están trabajando sí, sí. los niños. Uh 
Tal vez a través de chat ellos pueden, ya. Yeah. Sí, porque yo estoy haciendo una presentación, así voy a ver con ellos a través del chat porque no. Sí, no sé I mean, it's totally fine, usamos el chat. Sí. Ajá, sí, teacher. Thank sí, you. Si necesita ayuda, hay un botoncito que dice como preguntar o algo, cualquier cosa me avisa, oiga. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias.